Welcome back to the lecture on kinematics. Let's pick up where we have left off. We have previously covered four key parameters or quantities that's able to represent or describe the kinematics of a body. They are time, displacement, velocity and acceleration. And thereafter, will be introduced by the VT graph, namely the velocity time graph. So in a velocity time graph, it contains the four key parameters. This is a typical uniformly accelerated body profile. As we can see again, time can be seen at the x-axis, velocity in the y-axis, Acceleration refers to the gradient of the VT graph. Last but not least, displacement refers to the area under the graph. Now, other than the VT graph, there are four accompanying kinematics formulas to help us to solve kinematics problems. And I'm sure these four formulas are no strangers to you. I would like to bring your attention to the notation that we use in this chapter. Let's take for example the velocity. V or any quantity with a subscript 1 refers to the final stage of that particular motion. The notation with a subscript not refers to the initial stage. Let us now take a look how we can actually derive this for kinematics formula. Let us now derive the first equation by referring to a generic VT graph for an uniformly accelerated body. V T graph. At time t, at t naught, the body starts from this point on the VT graph and move to another point at time t equals to 1. And the corresponding velocity values will be v0 and v1. And we know that acceleration refers to the gradient of the curve. Acceleration from point A to B will be the change of velocity which is equal to V1 minus V0 over the change in time which is T1 minus T0. So acceleration equals to change in velocity over change in time which will have V1 minus V0 over T1 minus T0. Let T be represented by T1 minus T0 and we will have A is equals to V1 minus V0 over T. Bring the T up, we will get AT equals to V1 minus V0 and by shifting or rearranging, we will have V1 equals to V0 plus AT. There you have it, the first formula of the kinematics equation. So let's now derive equation 2 using the same VT graph. The area under the graph is where I'm shading right now, refers to the displacement and in fact this is a trapezium an area of a trapezium is given by the simple formula half times the sum of parallel sides times the height the sum of parallel sides which is a b parallel sides times the height h now applying this standard area of trapezium formula 
to our VT graph, we will see that S is equal to half A, which is V naught, plus B, which is V1, times the height, which is represented by T. So there you have it, our equation 2. Now let's move on to equation 3 and see how we can actually derive. Basically, the first two equations, equation 1 and 2, form the basis for all kinematics formula. The remaining formulas are actually derived for convenience sake in computation. Just take a look at equation 3. You realize that one of the quantity V1, which is the final velocity, is missing in the equation. So from equation 1, substitute that into equation 2. And we will have S is equal to half V0 plus V1, which is V0 plus AT from equation 1 times T. Let's simplify it. We will have 2V0 plus AT. And multiply that in, we will have V0 T plus half A T square. And there you have it, equation 3. Similarly, for the fourth kinematics formula, it can be derived based on equation 1 and 2 as well. If we take a look at equation 4, you'll notice that time t is missing in the formula. So from equation 1, let's make t as the subject. v1 minus equals to v0 plus at. And with t as the subject, we will have v1 minus v0 over a. We call this equation a. Substitute equation a into equation 2. We will have S is equal to half <coughs> V0 plus V1 times T, which is V0, V1 minus V0 over A. Let's bring the 2 and the A over 2AS is equal to V0 plus V1, V1 minus V0. Simplifying, we will get v1 square minus v0 square and rearranging it we will have v1 square equals to v0 square plus 2as and that's equation 4 for you therefore this completes the derivation of the four kinematics formula and let's now take a look at examples that put all these kinematics theories into context